Today's devotion is coming to you a little bit later in the day. I didn't forget, I've just been working on some things outside at my house. After all, Monday is supposed to be my day off. But I told you I'd be back with the devotion today. I was thinking as I was working about what I wanted to share with you this week. In yesterday's sermon, talking about that final harvest and how we've got work to do between now and then, I reminded you of the need for all of us to love one another. Jesus said, a new command I give you, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. As I was thinking about that, I was reminded of that great love chapter in the Bible, 1 Corinthians 13. So I decided I'd read that with you this week, and we'd be looking at it over the next several days, in the, going into some of the specifics of that chapter. But let's start by reading it together today. If I speak in the tongues of men and angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have faith that can move mountains but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. The chapter talks about love quite extensively. But let's go back to the beginning of the chapter. When Paul first started, he said, if I have everything in this world, if I have all the gifts, if I can do great things and have every possible benefit this world has to offer, but don't have love, I'm empty. I have nothing. I gain nothing. You can be pretty sad even though you're wealthy. You can be pretty sad even though you're talented. If you don't have love, the kind of love that God talks about, your life will be void. There will be something missing. Thankfully, you and I don't have to experience that. We have the love of God in Christ. We have experienced the greatest love that there is where he laid down his life for us so that we could have forgiveness of sins and the certainty of life everlasting. We have experienced that love and now we are called upon to show that love. When I do premarital counseling with couples, one of the questions I ask them early on is how do you define love? Yeah, a lot of times as I ask that question, we sit there silently and I wait until they come up with an answer. We use the word in so many different ways. It's important for us to consider what love is. How do you define love? We'll think about that more in the coming days. But let me just leave you with a thought today. 
In Scripture, when Jesus tells us to love one another, he's using a word, agape, which means selfless love. Putting the needs of others ahead of your own. That's the way he loved us. He put our needs ahead of his. That's the way he wants us to love one another. As I said, we'll break down this chapter some more in the coming days. But let's stop right there today and have a prayer. Thank you, Father, for the love that you've shown me in Christ Jesus. Help me to show the same kind of love to the world around me. In Jesus' name, amen. God's blessings be with you, and I'll share another thought with you tomorrow.